Hello and welcome back to UEBS with Brozen. Now this is a new E-series. At least I think it's going to be a series. We'll see. Battles from fact or fiction in which we take battles that either happened or didn't really happen. And we play them out in UEBS. Now, this is supposed to be the Battle of Isengard. As you can see, we've got our Ents, represented by Groot. Hjorns, which are the, the, the baby trees, I think it was. Represented by baby Groots. And our two hobbits. <coughs> Looking ugly. Pretend they're throwing stones, not arrows. And defending Isengard, we got two Gate Guard, one Black Rohirrim, a bunch of wild men, and about 7,000 orcs. Now these aren't the orc The orc have already left for Helm's Deep. These are just the basic worker, you know, worker orcs and such that just happen to still be there. So, yeah. <clears throat> the Battle of Isengard has begun as our ants go running up the hill. First, to engage the wild man. Oh, let's turn that up. Okay. As you see, we got about 7,500 units. It was supposed to be 10,000 orcs, but getting them all in here is not that easy. Also, there's some on the walls. They can't get down. And, yeah. This is going to go on for about as long as the ants have things to smash on the ground. Whenever we get to the point where they can't reach anybody, then that's where we'll stop it. However, right now the ants are just smashing their way through. They're about to hit one of the gate guards. He didn't last too long. Remember, these ants are strong, right? They're strong enough to just break stone and bend armor as if it's made of tin foil and, you know, that sort of thing. <coughs> ants be OP, yo. <laughs> Forget I didn't see that. And yeah. The Battle of Isengard is well underway, of course. Uh, Saruman and Grimma. Both hiding up in the Tower of Orthanc. They're well out of the way while the Ents just smash everything. Two bits. So, yeah. During the battle, there wasn't only about 50 Ents. Well, it says 50 plus, right? So. But I've added in 100, just to make it go a wee bit quicker. <coughs> Many hands make dead orcs. You know what I mean? Hey, well, that's a good job. Saruman's not up there firing fireballs down. Because I see a forest fire standing down here. Yeah, there we go. Some have died, but I've got a feeling that's the baby groups. I mean, uh, the Hjorns. Of course, our hobbits. Sitting back here, throwing the rocks. Yeah. Good arms on them. Treebeard, of course, is in there somewhere. Naturally. are still piling around the outside as the, the ends pile inside of the fortress. Look at that blood man. Of course, the blood should be black, not red, but let's not pick holes. <laughs> Too many holes, anyway. Look, yeah, the, the arcs, man. Everywhere. If only there was a I don't know, maybe like a big dam or something they could release to, to flood the area and kill them all, but... Oh no! Oh no! I can't believe that just happened. Our poor hobbit got too close. Both of our hobbits are dead. This isn't really a reenactment. God damn it. <laughs> oh well, I'm just gonna roll with it. Just say, Mary and Pippin are now sitting on top of Treebeard's shoulders. We just can't see where they are. This one ends going to 
him in this corner. I think he keeps trying to attack the ones on the wall. And then realizes he can't. However, they have well and truly piled in here. Can't believe that happened. So brutal. Oh, there we go. They are all down. Guess that ant must have came around and came in through the front door. Just having a really quick, quick look for him. Oh my god, flying orcs. There ain't too many left now compared to how many started. Oh god, flying orcs. Wee, yippee! Yippee! <clears throat> Yippee! Oh god, it's raining orcs. <coughs> so yeah. It was also just after the Battle of Isengard. When Gandalf turned up and enlisted the help of the Ents to go and, well, you know, smash the 10,000 orcs that went to Helm's Deep. Which is what you see at the end of that siege when they're all running away. The tree, the, the tree line, the forest that just happens to appear. Mm hmm. There are all ants. Well, I'm not sure if it shows out in the original. You might need the extended director's cut to see that. I'm not sure. <coughs> but there we go. That is all they can reach. So. I believe that wraps up the Battle of Isengard. The Ents, of course, are victorious. Our hobbits were rescued by Treebeard, and all the orcs have been killed. The dam, the water has been released. It says, release the river, you know. And yeah, there we go. What do you think, guys? You like it? Yeah. Hit that like and subscribe button if you like the content. Let me know you guys like it, and links down below for Discord and Twitter if you want to check it out. Again, follow the Twitter if you want to see when I go live on the live streaming or follow over on Twitch. Or just keep an eye on YouTube. I think YouTube gives you notifications too. Anyway, thank you all for joining me. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye.